You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Sports. Look, we have hammered Roger Goodell pretty hard on this channel, but Roger Goodell is under a different level of fire now. Jason Whitlock called for his job this week, and he has famously, maybe his biggest critic that he's got is El Presidente himself, the Barstool Sports founder, Dave Portnoy. By the way, Dave Portnoy and Tom Brady worked out their two-day beef that they had. Uh, He said Brady called him personally. Pretty good to have that kind of juice, I reckon. Well, Dave Portnoy has come out, and he has hammered Roger Goodell again. And he said he did try to have a conversation with Goodell, and I guess Goodell didn't want to have it. But regardless, Portnoy's got some strong words about Goodell, so let's get to it. This is TMZ. Time heals all wounds right. Not when it comes to Dave Portnoy and Roger Goodell, because Barstool Sports founder tells TMZ Sports he still hates the NFL commissioner with a burning passion. Prez, who is by far Goodell's biggest critic, says the beef was rejuvenated after Barstool tried to purchase the naming rights to the Buffalo Bills Stadium, and Goodell seemingly intervened. He stepped in to stop Barstool Sports from getting the naming rights. We saw Barstool jump in on a bowl game. Barstool is trying to grow to the next level, and they're getting a lot of opposition from it, and I think we know why. Uh, Barstool has been called a lot of ist and isms many times over their run, and look, it's pretty amazing what Barstool has become. They started just like me and John, and then they have grown into this massive true force in sports uh, coverage. Quote, so we tried to do that last year, and I thought we were going to have a chance to do it, Dave said at Saddle Ranch in L.A., And it sounds like maybe the NFL and Roger Goodell, one of the great criminals, love that choice of words, villains, dictators of all time, tried to step in and put an end to it. Portnoy says he still wants the naming rights, though, as he loves the people of Buffalo and would, quote, make the move in a heartbeat if the opportunity presented itself. But that's not something Dave thinks will actually happen. As long as Goodell is commissioner, again, Roger Goodell's a real bad guy. Wow, Dave says. I'm not even joking. Everything he says is not the truth, and I think he hates us. We can't force someone to sell us naming rights. But if they named the price, we would pay for it. Portnoy did, however, say he would be willing to sit down with the commish and hash hash things out. There's more on Portnoy goes in on Goodell's handling of alleged racist hiring practices. And he he says Goodell is, quote, doing a horrible job. And we've been critical of Goodell for being very reactionary to things. It seems like Goodell, he doesn't do a lot of action or proactive action. He just reacts to things and he doesn't always react in the best manner. Years ago, he completely fouled up the Greg Hardy and Ray Rice situation, and he's still not doing a good job when it comes to managing things like players and having high-character players in his league. I mean, they're continuously, players are continuously getting in trouble. As the commissioner, you've got some ownership in that, and you should be able to go to owners and say, Look, we need you to look for higher character guys. There's certain guys we don't want in the league. Yada, yada, yada. Goodell won't do that. Now, he works for the owners. And I would say, with everything that's gone on, Goodell is in, this might be as close to a perfect storm as we're finding as an opportunity for Goodell to actually be ousted. Jerry Jones tried to get him ousted famously a few years ago for suspending Ezekiel Elliott. Him and Robert Kraft got together, and they almost got Roger Goodell out the door. 
they got beat out by some other owners in that situation. But yeah, Jerry wanted him gone. Jerry has kind of mended that fence, and we know Robert Kraft is not a big fan because I think we all think that the deflate gate situation was blown way out of control. And then you throw in all the BS social justice issues, the black eye that Roger Goodell has taken over John Gruden, and the other black eye he has taken over the Dan Snyder situation. There's still no telling what kind of corruption is going on in Washington right now. He is fouling things up like no commissioner we have ever seen in sports. And that is saying a lot when you consider Adam Silver. I never thought anybody would give Adam Silver a run for their money. I think Roger Goodell may have finally passed him. And that's considering that, look, the NBA has lost real fans. I think only the fact that people still watch the NFL and it gets ratings is the only reason why Roger Goodell has held on to his job. But he is under fire. Now, for Barstool, people hate Barstool because they tell the truth. They don't sugarcoat it. They cover things that a lot of uh, sports media won't cover. Started out just like me and John. Just a couple of dudes talking sports. And it has grown into something huge. And, And Portnoy is trying to get barstool into a larger bigger scene situation i mean they've got quite a few ex nfl players working for them over there but portnoy and barstool still stays under attack from the woke so uh people on social media particularly twitter i mean they're still called racist and sexist over there on a regular basis They're just some dudes talking about sports that have grown it into something larger. A lot of people don't remember or realize Pat McAfee started over there. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fan. Is Roger Goodell the worst commissioner in sports? I think he may have finally won that title. And the thing about it is, if Dave Portnoy is willing to pay the highest amount for the naming rights, he should be able to do that and get that. That's just the way I look at it. Capitalism is a thing in this country, whether the leftists want it to be or not. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.